From the Washington Times, I'm Tim Constantine. Pro-lifers want to keep marching against abortion annually in Washington, but some are pushing to move national events from January to June to celebrate the end of Roe v. Wade. Thousands of activists attended the 50th annual March for Life in January. That event marked the anniversary of the 1973 Supreme Court ruling that legalized abortion nationwide. Leaders of 40 Days for Life and Healing the Culture say it's time to redirect national efforts to the June 24th anniversary of the High Court's ruling in Dobbs v. Jackson last year that overturned Roe and returned jurisdiction over abortion to the states. A bill introduced in the Florida legislature would make it illegal for your pet dog to stick its head out a car window. Florida State Senator Lauren Book, a Democrat, proposed the change as part of a larger animal welfare bill. In the bill's language, drivers would not be allowed to let their dog extend its head or any other body part outside a motor vehicle on a public roadway. But wait, after dog owners everywhere offered biting criticism of her bill, Senator Book has pulled the proposed ban and swears she is pro-happy puppies. And finally, this week marks 50 years since the release of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. The timeless musical masterpiece has spent more than 950 weeks on the Billboard Top 200 charts and is still a staple in college dorm rooms. Veteran rock critic Martin Popoff has put out a book on the 50th anniversary exploring the band, the making of the album, every song, and much more. Music fans and historians alike will love the book. For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.